I'm in Toronto, Canada today at the Business of Aging Summit, and I'm going to sit down with the founder of Sharp Brains, which is a neuroscience research facility, and we're going to discuss cognitive training. Now, tell me a little bit about your company. Uh, Sharp Brains is a market research company. We try to summarize all the research on how to stay sharp as we get older. And so we cover all the new innovations from the research side and also from the product side. So what have you um, seen the most promise in as far as technology um, with the cognitive training? There is now a lot of programs for, uh, to help teenagers and also older adults drive safer. To drive a car, I mean, it's very complex. You have to be paying attention to many different things. You have to make a lot of decisions. So it's very heavy on a part of the brain called the frontal lobe. But there is a very interesting similar study going on in London, comparing the London cab drivers and London bus drivers, and how parts of the brain evolve as they get older. Uh, and London taxi drivers, the physical part of the brain that deals with learning memory, called the hippocampus physically grows bigger simply by being a taxi driver because every day they have to figure out how I'm going to drive from this place to another place versus the bus driver is, is not growing. In fact, it's getting smaller just because of the effect of aging. What about some other cool uh, technologies or applications that you could use mm -hmm. in the US? Many people know less than Nintendo brain age, so people are thinking of brain training, uh, but they don't realize games can also be great for assessment. And that's very important because the brain is very complex, has many different functions. So people, before we think what to train, we have to understand what, is, what are our strengths and our weaknesses. The same way our body, do I want to train my abdominals or my biceps? So there are many assessments now. And, and in fact, Intel is supporting work in Oregon Health and Science University on how to use games and track the performance of players over time so they can detect, for example, if a player suddenly the performance goes down dramatically, maybe it would be a signal for the doctor to call and to say, hey, is everything fine? Maybe you are depressed, uh, maybe there was a car accident. So games, playing games, can be good for monitoring. Is there anything within our homes right now that we could easily use to train our minds? I would say the Kindle. Oh. I would say the Kindle. I would say the Kindle, in a sense, uh, offers you the chance to download any kind of book very quickly. So if we use it correctly, which means download books that are in genres, that are in fields new to you. So most people tend to read the same topic over and over. Maybe I love art history, yeah. art history, or I love neuroscience, neuroscience. But the key is novelty and challenge. But the amazing thing with the Kindle is that you can access any book from 500 years ago that was published in India, uh, and then suddenly have a completely new universe that you have to learn. The more challenging it is, the more beneficial it's going to be for the brain. So as long as people download, let's say, one new book a month on a completely different topic from anything they have read before, that's probably going to be very fun and very useful brain training. So I'm interested in what kind of technology you're using. We don't develop new technologies, but we use technology to work with collaborators worldwide. We are organizing the first fully online, fully virtual conference for the whole industry worldwide in January. We will have around 40 speakers from 10 different countries. There is also some very interesting hardware, like let's say, uh, something that could be on your head. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation. And stimulate specific neurons in your brain that are important for people maybe with Parkinson's or depression. So there is a lot of new innovation. If someone wanted to go and do a little more research on your company, uh, where could they go and access that information? Uh, the best place would be Sarbrains, sarbrains.com. We have a website and blog where we have new articles uh, every day, well, every other day, basically. And we have been around for four years, so we have thousands of articles and brain teasers. Uh, this year, we also published the first consumer guide to the whole field. Thank you very much.